And remember, sisters, we're not just talking to you because these other races of women be bashing their baby daddies too. Now in this though, y'all be the loudest and then the most pumped up. Very similar to like uh, the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, the media would always get the mic, uh, you know, on like a crime scene or accident, they'd always get the microphone in the most inarticulate Negro's mouth and then society got that for all of us. Same thing when Michael Vick won his first game, the Auburn, whoever, whoever the alumni called in because they were so disappointed and disgusted about how he couldn't put a sentence together. And then lastly, when Jerry Springer and Maury Povich or whatever, they would have white folks on there too and the redneck. And then, by the way, redneck, poor white trash, these are English words because that's not our language. This is what they do to each other on a classism tip wherein they disenfranchise and disassociate themselves with that while white folks are the largest users of welfare, ergo, in the red states, they all sound and talk and move like that. And then furthermore, now, um, they have the most deadbeat dads because you don't just get welfare, you know what I mean? But the, the media is though, the media is though, is that we have never in our life, as 14 cities, nine states later, have heard a white person tell another white person that you speak so well. Have you? R-E-X.